Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It's your girl Tamara Renee. If you are new, welcome. Thanks so much for stopping by. So in today's video, I'm giving you guys my updated makeup routine and I absolutely love how everything turned out. This makeup, like this lippy, the color of the shirt, my hair, everything is just flowing and everything is looking good, okay? And I just love it so you know it's been a while since i've sat down and done my makeup with you guys i was so focused on the content series you guys already know about that and i'm so happy you guys are loving it but i'm like you know what i need to give a makeup look for my makeup girls and all of that good stuff and i did kind of like explain something because my old update anyway it's in the video. <laughs> but I hope you guys enjoy this video. All details are listed down below in the description box, so do check that out. But if you're interested in seeing how I achieved this makeup look, then keep on watching. Hey guys, so we are all up close and personal. Um, I have you guys set on a tripod on my table, so I gotta be careful not to like bang or do anything because if this table rocks, y'all rocking with it, okay? So. As always, there is construction happening outside, so I do apologize if you hear any noise, machines and stuff. Like, these people are always doing construction. Like, what are you fixing? Like, it's already fixed. Yeah, so I did my eyebrows off camera. I went through a lot to get them looking the way they are looking, but once I get this makeup look all together and I take my hair out of this wrap, because I'm here looking like a little granny or something, but I have my hair straightened, but once everything is on and set and looking good, girl, it's going to be a vibe. It's going to be a vibe. So yeah, did my eyebrows. I'm gonna go ahead and start off with my primer. You guys already know this. I love this primer so much. I was not a primer girl. It's my second bottle and I'm almost done. So I'm gonna have to get me a third one real soon. So I'm just gonna put this on. And I never put too much like this amount, what I just put on, is enough. So now that my primer is on, time to move on to foundation. Now, before I even get into foundation and stuff, I want to tell y'all something real quick so I had an updated makeup routine posted on my channel a couple months back but unfortunately for certain reasons I had to take down the video okay I am so sad I had to take it down but I had to take it down um but what I am doing my like my routine till this day is somewhat the same some products have changed you may have seen a few in like my last makeup videos a couple months back probably like back in december or something but yeah so i'm gonna try to be as detailed as possible well i'm always detailed but i will be extremely detailed with my products and stuff like that for those who happen to come across this video and for those who liked the previous video that i took down but you know are unable to watch it and they are watching this one so yeah Life of a YouTuber. Now I'm gonna go in with foundation and this is the newest foundation from NARS. I got my hands on this foundation earlier in the week and I've done my makeup every single day since and I have not put this down. Like I am so obsessed with this foundation. It reminds me of the Radiant Foundation, is that what it's called? You know, the, the Sheer Glow Foundation, I think that's what it's called. Yeah, anyway, this <laughs> reminds me of that foundation and I love that foundation so much. Like I love NARS products, okay? I love NARS products. So the shade I have in this is Macau and it's the same as the other foundation. So I'm gonna shake this up. So I'm gonna go in with my foundation brush. This is from Anastasia Beverly Hills, this is A30. I'm gonna add a few pumps on my face. And then I'm going to blend it out. So I'm noticing on camera, it may look a little bit too light, but I believe it's probably because of my lights. But trust me, 
It's my shade. Okay. Do your hands ever get tired from blending? Because right now my arm is tired. And always remember to go between your eyebrows. Well, it depends on when you do your brows. I know some people do their eyebrows after they apply foundation, but if you do your eyebrows before you apply foundation, you wanna make sure that whatever it is you're using to blend it out, that you go between those eyebrows. And I guess it also depends on what you use. So you can definitely use your concealer to separate the brows, but I like to use my foundation. So moving on, I'm gonna start off with my eyes. I'm gonna use my Too Faced Butterscotch Concealer. And I'm just going to place this on my lids. And this is serving as an eyeshadow base or just an, just to help uplift whatever color I use on my eyelids. And then I'm gonna set it with my Laura Mercier Loose Powder in the shade Honey. But I like to do this because it helps with the color of the eyeshadow that I put on. It doesn't matter what shade I put on. It just helps to make it pop because if I don't put any concealer, I just find that the colors look very dull on my eyelids. So doing this method really does help me and it works for me, so. And make sure you blend this out evenly. And while I already have my loose powder out, I'm just gonna place some on my eyebrows. I notice my eyebrows get really oily over some time, so adding some loose powder will help to get rid of that oil and yeah. So my favorite eyeshadow look that I like to do when I'm doing like a simple type of makeup look is this eyeshadow palette right here. You guys have already seen this, I talked about it on my channel. This is the Nubian from Juvia's Place, and I like to go in with just two shades this color right here and this one. And I'm actually gonna go in with the darker shade first and apply that on my crease. And I'm gonna go in with my infamous Morphe eyeshadow brush. Like this is the only eyeshadow brushes that I use. This is M441. And I'm just, like I said, I'm going to apply this in the crease area and then blend up if needed. And this is the perfect shade of brown. It's not too dark, you know, it's not too red. Like it is perfect, it is perfect. So now I'm gonna go in with that lighter shade and apply that on my lids. I'm gonna pat it on because I find patting this shade really does help to get the pigmentation of the color on the lid. Because if I use swiping motions, it's it's just not gonna work. And then really quickly, I'm going to go back with that darker shade and just go back in my crease to help blend the colors together. Just like that. All right, so that's it for the eyes. It is so simple. You guys know I like to keep it simple when it comes to my eyeshadow look. Sometimes I like to be dramatic, you know? So now it's time to move on to highlighting and I'm gonna go in with my Too Faced Butterscotch Concealer, as mentioned earlier. And I'm going to apply this under my eyes. My chin. Cupid's bow, picture of my nose, and just around the corners of my nose because I find if I don't do this, my highlight looks a bit choppy. So I have to kind of like carry it down like that. And then the next concealer I like to go on top with is Latte. This color right here, it is so gorgeous. I still have warm sand and I will use her when I'm in the mood to, but I'm always grabbing latte. So I apply latte right on top of butterscotch, only under my eyes. And I believe I would do the same with warm sand. 
it's been a while since I've used that concealer, so honestly, I don't even remember. I placed it on top just like that, only under the eyes. Before, what I would do was put on butterscotch, blend that out, then apply warm sand, blend it out. I just felt it took up too much time. So when I got my hands on latte, I'm like, you know what, let me just apply it right on top of butterscotch, only under the eyes, because that's where I really want to pop and be bright. And that's it. I don't know if you guys can see the two. Can you distinguish the two? I don't, I'm not too sure because my setup is really, really bright. Now these concealers, I'm not too sure what is going on with Too Faced, but they've been out of certain colors, butterscotch being one of them in the big size. Like y'all fill me in, is Too Faced discontinuing the concealers? Like I honestly don't know what's going on because it's been a long time since, like I bought this back in, oh you guys shook, I need to be careful. I bought this back in the summer of last year. Yeah, I bought this August 2021 and I still am using it, but this is almost done and I need a backup, you know what I mean? So y'all need to fill me in. I need to know, is it sold out? Are they gonna discontinue it? I really and truly don't know, but I really need to know. And so yeah, so with this concealer, because I want a full coverage, when I do makeup, I'm all about full coverage. I don't know what light beat is. Over here, I don't know what light beat is. I like a full beat, full coverage type of look. That's just me. Um, so because I like that kind of look, I need to allow the concealer to sit and do its thing. So while I'm allowing it to sit to dry down, I'm going to get my sponge, I'm gonna wet it up, and then I'll come back and then blend this all out. I am back with my beauty blender, beauty sponge, whichever. And I think it's been enough time since I've allowed the concealer to sit. So y'all already know this. I'm gonna tell you guys from now because I will not be able to talk once I start blending. Because I crease like crazy and very quickly after I apply my concealer, I have to bake immediately. And yes, I still bake, I need to bake. That's what gives me that nice flawless, you know, full coverage type of look. So I'm gonna go in with my Sasha Buttercup loose powder she's almost finished I've been using her for some time I have a little bit in here and I'm going to mix that with my Laura Mercier honey loose powder I do have my Huda Beauty uh, baked powder here in the shade blondie I'm not too sure if I'm gonna use it today no we're not using her today why do I use the two this is very yellow and even though this has a tint of yellow it's kind of more on the whitish side i don't some it's it's a bit lighter it's not a rich yellow like this one so when i put the two together it just gives me the perfect color for the under eye baking powder so i'm gonna apply the sasha buttercup first and then laura on top but now we are going to blend My foundation was starting to crease. And I like to evenly blend my under eyes together like at the same time. It just helps to distribute the same amount of concealer under my eyes. Cause if I do one eye first with the same beauty sponge, I just find that whatever's on this sponge will transfer onto the other eye, and then one eye under the eye will have more of a vibrant, bright look, and then the other eye will look too dull. Okay, so I've baked long enough. Now I'm just going to dust away this powder. I 
and when doing this step you want to take your time and lightly pat and kind of like dust it away because if you just do huge swipes you are going to brush away the product and it will also remove the concealer that you've had that you have placed so you just want to make sure that you are lightly patting and dusting it off of the areas and i know i look a little bit crazy but once i get my setting powder and everything this is all going to blend and look really well together now it's time to set the rest of my face because i know we'd be looking crazy so you guys know how much i love sephora micro smooth powder i believe it is discontinued however of course i still have mine because it's sold out in all shades online i kind of put two and two together and assume that it's sold out or not sold out discontinued i even went to sephora a couple weeks ago and i thought to myself maybe i'm able to get one or two to have as backup and i went to sephora and i only found one left in my shade and the shade that i use is deep ebony number 60. i was like wow like all the shades you can see you know it's it's gone okay gone all the deeper shades are gone so if you were able to get your hands on one to use that is great but in the meantime for those that weren't or for those that are not able to get their hands on the sephora micro smooth i have a new powder that i've been using and i love as well and it's from nars it is from their recent collection the light reflecting it is a pressed powder and i got the shade meza and i put this on and it's giving what micro smooth would give me and i'm quite surprised so it does come with this little thing here but i i don't i don't need to do all of that you guys know i like to use a brush to apply my powders so this is the shade right here i'm not too sure if you're able to see the true color because the lights i got going on but i'm gonna go ahead with my japanese powder brush this is the number 718 and i'm just going to press it into the powder and then apply it on to my face i i love this color so much i love this powder a lot too it is amazing And I like to lightly go on top of the highlighted area with that loose powder. And this will also help to tone down the brightness that's on my face. And also when it comes to powders, you wanna make sure that you set your face. I don't care if it's foundation, I don't care if it's concealer, you need to make sure that you set your face. You need to make sure that it's set. You need to use some sort of powder, whether it's loose or a baked press type of powder, you need to set your liquids, especially your foundations and your concealers, because you will be walking around looking like a melting popsicle or something, a brown popsicle, I don't know. And do you see that it's slowly coming together? I'm, I've gotten rid of that bright white cast look that was going on under the not even white that bright look under the eye that's what i want regardless but i have to tone it down because sometimes it just be looking crazy but even with a light layer like i said of this powder i'm looking in the viewfinder it's coming together and it looks really nice so that's it with this powder i really like it and it looks absolutely amazing on my skin and i just love it i really 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 do now we are going to move on to bronzer i know some people would be like oh she applied concealer a bright color but didn't you know contour anything i don't contour i don't need to contour i don't find that i have to contour because what i do it works and if you didn't know my steps you'd probably think i contoured so i'm going in with my juvia's place bronzer this is the tan one and i'm gonna go in with this darker shade right here in the palette and I'm going in with another Japanese brush. This is 961. And I'm just going to apply that on my cheeks. And this is to help warm my face and bring some color back into the skin because after all that baking, girl, 
you can just imagine and also this look will come together when I apply blush I was never a blush girl but after I got my hands on a few nice blushes like I cannot go without blush blush helps honestly to draw the look together and that's what I'm all about and I used to bring my contour, not my contour, I used to bring my bronzer down here. You see that line? But now I bring it up more onto my cheeks, like the high points on my cheek, my cheekbones, because it just helps to make the face look more, I don't know, it just gives my face a lift. It gives the makeup look a full lift, and that's what I want, because prior, when I would apply it here, it just made my face look so weird. I don't even know how to explain it, but it just wasn't doing it for me but you know I had to bring it up and that's what I do again makeup has no rules do as you please place where you want to place certain things when it comes to eyeliner and lip liners you can use an eyeliner as a lip liner a lip liner as an eyeliner an eyebrow pencil like it does not matter and then you do want to get your forehead and I like to get this area right here right where that uh, highlight powder meets because it gives more of like a separated type of look but again this look is coming together and I'm just going to apply some on my nose as well where I put my bronzer is obviously in the same place where you would contour and even if you contour, you still need to set that area with some type of powder. So that's where you go in with a bronzer. And because of that, that's why I just like to skip that step. I don't need it because bronzing gets the job done for me. It's time for blush. This is also from Juvia's Place. This is volume one. And I'm going to go in with this orange color right here. It is so gorgeous, so beautiful. I'm going in with another Japanese brush. This is 717. And I'm just going to pat it onto my cheeks. You gotta give a little smile to get the apples popping. And if you ever go in with too much blush, you can always go in with a translucent loose powder and pop on top of the blush. And that will help to tone it down because there's been times I can't talk. There have been times when I would apply too much blush and I was looking crazy. I'm gonna go back in with that eyeshadow palette and I'm going in with a Morphe brush. This is M507. I'm gonna go in with that brown shade that we use in our crease and I'm gonna apply that on my lower lash line. So that's it for powders. I'm gonna go ahead and set my face with my Morphe Continuous Setting Mist and this is going to help blend and just bring everything together and to get rid of that powdery look and give it more of a skin finish type of look. I love this setting spray. As much as I have like other setting sprays and I use other sprays as well, the, to me, nothing beats the Morphe Continuous Mist, like nothing. I'm gonna go ahead and do my eyes, like eyeliner, mascara, lashes, and all of that, and then I'll be back to do the lips.
All right, you guys, so lashes are on. They are from Amazon. I don't even have the pack that it came in because I tossed that out, so I just legit have the two lashes together just chilling on my dresser. Crazy, right? Mm -hmm. But I'm gonna have them linked below in the description box for you guys if you're interested. Um, now I'm actually gonna go ahead and highlight, like shimmer type of highlight. And I'm gonna go in with the Artist Couture Diamond Lux Luminizer and I'm gonna use the shade Honey Drip. Now, I haven't touched this in a very long time and I don't really care to highlight, like the shimmer highlight, like honestly, this would be it for me. I'd just apply a lippy and just call it a day. But I'm feeling a little extra and I've been feeling a little extra as of late. So I've been grabbing this. I have not seen this in Sephora at all. Even, well, then again, I haven't checked Artist Couture's website to see what they have. I don't know. I've been looking into another highlight to get, um, but no success in that. So you guys already know what to do. If you have any recommendations, any suggestions, leave them down below. So I'm just going to apply some of this highlighter on using the Morphe M501 brush. And then I'm just going to lightly apply it on the tip of my nose, a little bit on the forehead. Some right here, not the full bridge of my nose. A little bit on the high points of my cheeks. Cupid's ball and chin. I'm also going to apply some in the tear duct area and I'm using this Japanesque 728 brush. This brush doesn't really pick up a lot of product, but I don't want too much in the tear duct area anyway. So it applies, it picks up enough to apply the right amount I need. And that is honestly it with the face. And when it comes to like shimmer highlight, I like to apply it after I put on setting spray because I want the product to sit on top. I don't want it to get into the skin. I don't know, it's hard to explain, but yeah. So anyway, moving on, we're gonna go on to lips, my favorite part of my entire routine. And I'm gonna be doing the most today. You guys don't have to, you can do a simple lippy, gloss and liner, whatever floats your boat. But today I'm doing the absolute most because I just, I need to. I'm gonna go in with my favorite pencil and this is from Makeup Forever in the shade Limitless Brown. And I'm just gonna line my lips. Next, I'm going to lightly fill in my lips. I like to do this. It just does something to the lip. It gives like a nice ombre effect. This is from Charlotte Tilbury and this is the Lip Cheat Lip Pencil in the shade Foxy Brown. It is absolutely gorgeous. I find I can't use this as a liner itself like Limitless Brown. It's just not deep enough for me, but it is a perfect shade for me to use to fill in my lips. coming together I told you guys I'm doing the most you can definitely skip this step this is just something I like to do okay okay favorite nude lipstick and this is from Anastasia Beverly Hills unfortunately it is discontinued it is in the shade nude This is definitely a look on its own, but I'm a gloss girl and you guys know I'm a gloss girl. I can definitely keep it like this, but I need me some gloss. So I'm gonna apply this lip gloss right here from NYX. This is their butter gloss in the shade Madeline. This has been my girl from, I don't know, like what, two, three years now, but I haven't touched her in a while, but as of late, I have. So definitely gotta include her in today's video.
super duper gorgeous. I love this lip combo so much. And as of late, well, I recently got my hands on this beautiful lip gloss from MAC. This is their Dazzle Glass Lip Gloss, and this is in the shade Dressed to Dazzle. It's a nice shimmer color that I like to apply on my lips. It's like a topper gloss for me, and she is just gorgeous, okay? Gorgeous. Ooh, this is beautiful. I love this lippy, and especially this lip gloss from MAC. It is so gorgeous. Like I said, I, I'm doing the most today. You don't have to do all of this, but this is just what I've been doing as of late, and yeah. All right, I'm gonna get dressed, and I'll be right back. All right, you guys, so this is the final look. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I love how my makeup is looking. I'm feeling, hold up. Y'all see the shine on the hair though? Y'all see the shine? Y'all see the shine, shine, shine? Look at the shine on this hair. Yes, honey. Ooh, my hair is cooperating. Everything is cooperating with me today and that obviously puts me in a very good mood. As always, all products shown and used will be down below in the description box listed in the order that they were used so it's easier for both you and I to follow along and all that good stuff. I just, yeah, I'm loving it. And this color top too, the makeup, the hair, everything is just looking so good and Say it with me, I am all the way here for it. Yes, I am. Again, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Be sure to hit that subscribe button and hit that little bell to be notified whenever I upload a video so you never miss a video. Drop your comments below, follow me on Instagram at Tamara Renee and on TikTok at Tamara.Renee. I'll have them here on the screen. Follow me because I'm active on there if you don't see me on YouTube, you know? Thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you in the next video. Bye guys. Yeah,